visit aromacup.com, the world's leading single-serve coffee guide. Join our forums, talk with other coffee lovers, find coupons and reviews on great single-serve gourmet coffee machines, coffee capsules, and more great information, all available at aromacup.com. Hey everybody, this is Brian from aromacup.com. Thank you guys for joining me here today in my virtual coffee shop. Brought to you by aromacup.com. The question today is Cuisinart or Keurig? And that is what we're going to help to demystify for you today here on aromacup.com. Uh, a lot of folks wonder about the difference between a lot of these different single serve coffee machines. We're gonna give you just a little overview of each of these machines, show you some of the differences and brew a little coffee with them. Uh, what I've got here today on my left hand side, the Keurig B70. It's kind of like the Cadillac of Keurig machines. It's really the best one you can get on the market for the most part. Uh, in, in the Keurig line, we've talked about this machine a lot. Awesome machine, does just about everything you could ever need. On my right hand side, I've got the Cuisinart by Keurig machine. Again, really awesome machine, built like a tank. I mean, literally like a tank. It even has the weight of a tank up here. Really cool machine. Um, and we're gonna just show you some of the features between these two. So, of course, both of them have a water tank that will just keep water hot and ready for you. There's a little bit of a difference here. On the Keurig, on the B70, we have a 60 ounce water reservoir. We've got an 80 ounce reservoir in the Cuisinart machine. So, you know, if you live in a house with a lot of other people, or if you're really gonna have to be making a lot of drinks, the Cuisinart might be a good way to go right there. Um, beyond that, both of these machines have uh, many options which are about the same between the two. Um, on the Keurig machine and on the Cuisinart, we've got this nice big blue backlit LCD screen that gives us a readout of information about the machine. We can change the temperature on both of these machines, the brew temp. We can change our cup size, things like that. So the screen is kind of your home base. That's where you'll be able to just find out everything that's going on. Both of them have menu options, which we can access just by pressing the menu buttons. That lets you set the clock, set on off times, things like that. Um, on, again, on both of them, we've got these arrow buttons that let us control the menu and also choose the cup size. So that's very important. Both have the all important brew button, although the brew button is obviously more monstrous on the Cuisinart machine. And um, the Cuisinart has a couple extra buttons which the Keurig doesn't obviously. It's got a rinse button and it's got a hot water button. So you can rinse this machine out just by using the rinse button right there. If you wanna just make hot water uh, for maybe doing something like brewing French press coffee using your machine as we've talked about here, making instant noodles, things like that, you've got access to that. However, the Keurig B70 can still make hot water uh, rather than just making coffee and all you need to do is just lift up the brew head, close it up, and you can make hot water direct. So they can both do hot water. Uh, both of these machines make the same drinks. They both use K-cups. If you open up their brew heads, you're gonna see that they both have the same size receptacle for taking a regular K-cup, uh, or you can, of course, use different options for brewing your own coffee using these single serve machines. Um, tray size is a little bit bigger on the Cuisinart, obviously, but uh, the clearance, if we take the tray out of both of these, is about the same, really. So you can get, again, a large tumbler into each of these machines if you want to. Um, and beyond that, both of these machines really operate in about the same way. They both have quiet brew technology. Some of the older versions of these single serve machines were a little bit loud. And so now they both use this patented quiet brew technology, which, re which really uh, makes it so that you barely hear the thing running when it is running. The Cuisinart does, by the way, have a little receptacle on the side for holding your My K-Cup accessory, um, which you do not get on the B70. So that's a handy little thing. Both of them have manual power off switches. Uh, the Cuisinart's is on the right side, Keurig on the back. Beyond that, as I say, both of these machines will do very much the same type of drinks. The Keurig, I should also mention, brews in quarter ounce uh, cup sizes. So three and a quarter, five and a quarter, things like that. Whereas the Cuisinart brews in even numbers, four, six, eight ounces, things like that. Not a big difference, but it may matter to you based on the kind of drinks you like to make. 
that's really about it. So you tell you what, let's show you how both of these brew and just brew at the same time with each of them. I'm just going to go ahead and grab out some Island Coconut by Green Mountain Coffee right here. Pop these guys open. They're both sealed, ready to go. Both of these machines, as I say, they have the double needle technology, needle on the top, needle on the bottom, which will puncture the seal on these K cups. You can hear them being punctured when I close them up. And then all we have to do is just go ahead and add a cup. And now we're just gonna go ahead and brew. I'm gonna do the middle uh, cup size on each of these. So on the Keurig, it's gonna be seven and a quarter ounces. And on the Cuisinart, we're looking at eight ounces. The Cuisinart's screen gives you a little better idea of the cup size. It actually tells you the cup size in ounces, whereas you don't get that on the Keurig. But if you know the cup size that you like, it doesn't really matter too much. We're ready to brew on both, so let's go ahead and just uh, hit the magic button and brew away. We'll see uh, who wins the race right here, although they're gonna both be about roughly the same. Oh, the Cuisinart is off to a good start. And the Keurig's just a little bit behind it. So you can see both these machines are really fast and super quiet, and that's one of the great things about them. As always, I'm going to mention, as the machines do their job, I'm going to do mine, mention aromacup.com. Please check us out, make a free account, talk with other coffee lovers, join our forums, read reviews, check out videos about single-serve coffee machines. We'll help you to demystify the world of single-cup coffee brewing at aromacup.com. And there you go, you know, both these machines super fast, uh, both brewing about the same amount of coffee, obviously, is a little bit of a difference in the overall amount of coffee that we make, but that's really not a big deal because you get this full range of options. So you can make a lot of different coffee drinks using these machines, obviously. Uh, you can do iced coffee drinks, iced teas, things like that. Um, both of these machines give you access to a wide range of, tea, of, of beverages. And you've also got, because of that, you have the ability to brew very small drink sizes, which is really good for iced beverages. Uh, again, the Cuisinart may be a little more well-suited for a large family. You know, you have this big, large tray right here, so you don't have to clean it out as often. And you've got the nice 80 ounce water reservoir. On the Keurig, 60 ounces and a little bit of a smaller tray. Still gonna do its job very well. In fact, it's got a lot of space in there for catching overflow coffee and water. But this really depends on what you need for your household or your own coffee shop, as you might be building in your house. Uh, but we just want to go ahead and show you guys some of the awesome features between these two machines. I personally love them both. I've used them both a lot. I can't say that I have a favorite one yet, um, but I will tell you that the Cuisinart, as I say, it's really built like a tank. I mean, nice metal up on here, but the look of both, again, very appealing, great uh, to have on your countertop, and really just great machines overall. I hope this has been useful to you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and joining me here in my virtual coffee shop brought to you by romacup.com. Join us on the website and check out more of our videos. As always, enjoy your cup. I'm your host, Brian, and we'll see you guys next time.